Hello Aries, this is Soul. And Aries, this is going to be your general forecast for the week of January 9th through the 15th, 2017. Uh, the messages will also be for uh, Aries Moon and Aries Rising. Before I begin your messages, uh, once again, I want to wish you all, Aries, a happy new year, 2017. I know you all getting tired of hearing it, but uh, this will be the last time that I say it. Uh, for real on my videos anyway so let's just jump right into your reading um aries for some of you this upcoming week you have the energy of the eight of coins or pentacles in the reverse this is work in re uh yeah work in finance so the fact that it's showing up in the reverse is either that some areas that i'm reading for are are overcoming some sort of job loss possibly or some sort of financial loss is connected to work and finances also to it could be that there were uh issues related to the job uh when it comes to co-workers uh so this could be the week now this is the past that i'm picking up because we still have it in the reverse so this is potential energy for uh, some of you of this upcoming week uh for the fact that it's uh, being in the um for the fact that it's in the reverse i'm sorry uh, so there's overcoming some sort of, uh, you know, not getting w along well with others when it comes to the workplace environment, co-workers, it could be, you know, bosses, managers. So I just see an issue here and it may be directly or indirectly related to money. So it could be that you were expecting a raise and didn't get it or some sort of promotion, didn't get it. Um and then there was a loss. So it could have been an actual job loss or it could have been a demotion. It could have been. So you have to think of the eight of coins in the upright as a building a foundation of your work and your finances. It's almost assuredly positive energy. But when it shows up in the reverse, that means there's something going on that's changed the whole, um, you know, aspect of your work and uh, the money that's attached or related to that. OK, so I'm picking up a loss here. Um possible loss from a job or a separation from a job or if there wasn't a separation from a job or a loss from a job then it was something to do with um not getting along well with your co-workers or your bosses and um that other aspect is uh there was some sort of expectation of either a raise or a uh, promotion that didn't come through all right getting over that um with the aid of uh, coins in the reverse. Uh, now, for the Aries for this week and having dealt with anything related to any job stuff going on in the past, there's still that potential of that energy being carried over. The next card up is the Ten of Wands. This is the card of op oppression, okay? It just feels like you're beaten down or being... Uh, think of the Wands as a physical card. Uh, it's representing your energy and that of Sagittarius and um, Leo, male or female. The wands are people, could be people. If it's not actual people beating you down or making you feel oppressed, then it's Aries that is, you know, with all this scattered energy. Uh, think of the wands as different areas or aspects of your life and it's scattered. And now, you know, you're trying to or you're trying your best to pull all that energy back in. Um, but you just feel beaten down. This could be for those, um, you know, people interfering, friends, family members in your personal life. It also could be related to co-workers because it sits next to the. Uh, eight of coins that's showing up in the reverse and this is where for those this upcoming week maybe still dealing with issues related to the workplace environment where there's a potential of a demotion or um, a loss of income or a separation from a job and then it makes you feel like you've been beaten down and everybody has been attacking you this is a card of oppression. It's serious energy, but it's a 10, like the fives, it's clearing. So it may be something that is um, temporary, or it could turn out to be something that's long lasting, especially when it comes to an actual job loss. So I'm saying that because that's what I'm getting and I'm putting it out there. So if it's not affecting you, don't worry about it, okay? Others are involved and in trying to when it comes to the workplace. Now, so much I'm focused on work and finances because there's some issues going on 
I know with one or two of you, and I only say one or two as a general rule, but there's something going on. Something's not sitting well in the workplace environment and it's making you feel like you're being attacked. This is the oppression, card of oppression. Others are attacking you or beating you down. You just feel beaten. All right. Now, whether or not that energy is, uh, you know, related to other fire signs, it could be earth signs with the coin showing up and it could be, you know, that the energies um, attacking you could be um, Aries, Leo or Sagittarius, male or female. Also, too, this is personal uh, family members and friends. It could be um, involving relationships. Someone just beating you down in terms of a relationship, making you feel oppressed. Um, just not making you feel like it's a good place to be. Okay. All right. Next card up in the middle is the two of, um, I'm sorry, it's the high priestess. It's the priestess. In the reverse, major arcana, major life event. So this, again, the two represents two people. Now I'm getting a relationship attached to this oppression card. It's definitely involving an intimate and romantic relationship that one or either you are feeling oppressed or the person that you're with is feeling oppressed. All right. And they feel like they are beaten down or they feel like you are beaten down. It's going either way here too. You're not relying on any instincts. The priest comes in, high priestess comes in uh, when it's in the upright to say, pay attention to um, those things that come to you, your gut instincts and, and whatnot. Those are the things that will, um, you know, lead you on the right path. But with it showing up in the reverse and it's a major arcana, it's normally that some areas that I'm reading for are going to bypass what they know. They should be listening to, hearing, or whatever it is that comes to them. It's that nudge that you get uh, in this correct answer. But some of you going bypass that with the high priestess showing up in the reverse. And whatever that is that you are dealing with or whatever it is that uh, you're bypassing your instincts for, it may be something that, you know, To be all honest with you, come back and bite you in your ass if you're not paying attention to uh, these nudges here with this high priestess. Uh, and I, I say that because the high priestess is sitting next to this, this ten of wands in the upright. See, if the ten of wands was in the reverse, Aries, then I would say then you're overcoming those battles and struggles either internally and it's not related to anyone directly or it's you know overcoming those energies from someone directly but it's in the upright so that's the potential of this energy to occur but it's also a clearing so it's not going to be stagnant it's something that's only temporary but i just feel that whatever is going to take place whatever battles that you have to do you're not going to be paying attention some of you are not going to be paying attention uh it, and, and let me just give you a for instance in terms of paying attention and your instincts kick in, it could be that if you are in the workplace environment or if you're in a relationship or whatever and you consistently uh, say that you're physically fighting, arguing or whatever, but something comes in and says, hey, you know, you just stop. So things aren't blown out of proportion or taken to the next level or whatever, but you continue because you bypass what is being nudged into you. All right. So that's just a it, yeah, it's a drastic kind of scenario, but that's what I'm trying to give you. It could be something simpler than that. But this is what I'm saying when it comes to um, you're not paying attention to uh, your intuition. Uh, so it means that you might take things one step further than you needed to had you listened uh, to whatever was being nudged into you. Now, this does not necessarily this does not necessarily have to be related to a relationship. It could be any personal situation that's going on in your life. OK, apply that to whatever is going on. The last card that I have for you, Aries, is the um, seven of wands. So some of you may be paying attention here with the high priestess because the seven of wands is I'm sorry. The eight of wands is related to. um the decrease of that Ten of Wands energy. This is a card of communication. It's usually a good card of energy, a positive card of energy. 
when it's in the upright. Something comes in quickly, something comes in fast. With this coming in, in the reverse, it doesn't come as quickly. Uh, this could be in the form of communications to uh, significant others, uh, related to children, related to uh, something going on in the family um, structure, something, uh, you know, related to a friendship, and then the job, okay? The eight of coins is in the reverse, and so is the um, eight of wands. So there could be some sort of miscommunications Friday going into the weekend to yeah, miscommunication or things aren't being properly communicated, either attached to something related to the job, family, or a intimate romantic relationship, friendship, something going on. There's some element or aspect of um, indirect miscommunication, packages, partial will be delayed or if this was a week that you were expecting it to come in it will not come in but it's still forthcoming this is still some sort of positive news but there may be something temporarily holding up communication either with uh, those people close to you or around you someone in the workplace environment I just feel I'm just hitting that there's some sort of miscommunication. I didn't get the text. I didn't get the phone call. I didn't get the email. Something. Something is going to take place here. Friday going into the weekend. All right. So the most important thing that I can say to you uh, before I close this reading, Aries, is pay attention to those nudges in your intuition this upcoming week. It's going to be very important because what you do is how this other energy that is surrounding you unfolds. Ten of Wands, Eight of Coins, and the Eight of Wands, okay? All right, so that's your reading, Aries. Uh, once again, I want to thank you for all of your support in 2016 and looking forward to all, you know, more support from you in 2017. And also looking forward to doing more of these videos for you. Um, I do want to wish you all a very safe upcoming week ahead. Until the next time, I'm sending out a lot of love and light to you, Aries. Take care. Bye-bye.